glazed ham, mashed potatoes, carrots, gravy. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Ooh. That's a lovely spread. I love that. I, Slumberlust, I, we've talked about this before, and I don't disagree with you. I, I love ham. I love ham. Fourth room, I hope you had a good holiday, man. Been chilling out, doing your thing. Are you doing a Mulan beer? Are you making a Mulan beer pretty soon? Is that what I saw on your social? I saw the thing. Ooh, okay. Okay, nice. Ooh. If you guys don't know, Fourth Room does like really cool beers. He does a lot of IRL streams. Uh, definitely go hang out. With steam, with steam hops? What does that mean? Yeah, but I would crush this. I would crush that in a minute. Yeah, turkey, I'm kind of like, uh, yeah, I want some I want some turkey, but I think only Thanksgiving. Otherwise, bring the ham. Woo, look at this one, Chris, again. Rum and pineapple chicken with roasted winter veggies from the Christmas stream. This is a great shot. Potent Peach, how you doing? How do you look more handsome as time goes by? Potent you know, I just, some people age like fine wines. Uh, eventually, we all look like mold wine. But, uh, and some of us turn into straight vinegar. But for right now, I'm aging like a red wine over a white wine, I feel like. And I'm okay with that. So thank you for noticing. <laughs> How are you, Peach? How's it been? How was your holiday? Everything going well? This is a beautiful picture, though. Chris did a great job. Rustic, you got that nice that nice skin on there? Come on, get out of here. Doing a lager and for a teaweed pale Earl Grey and seaweed. Ooh. Fourth room. Earl Grey and seaweed? Do you have a specific seaweed that you're using? What is that? I've already been isometric. Oh, okay. Meaning no no boil brewing. So it's like a steep. So you're just doing steeping. You age like pickling vinegar. Who doesn't like pickles? Who doesn't like pickles? Got a pillow? Nice! A rice lager. A rice lager and a tea weed pail. And then you're just you're just steeping both of them? Picked up some nori sheets. I'm going to have to ask a friend of mine to remind me of the name of another seaweed that you could use. It might be difficult to find. That's the only thing, just where you are. But it's, it's, a, it's a different style of seaweed that has like almost a, um, it's like light Mentor with hops and yeast. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if kombu might be better. Kombu might be better. Benito Flakes for the Mulan Rice Lager. Do you, are there just, there, you, didn't, you couldn't find any? There wasn't like an Asian market nearby that you could check out? Ooh, man. That sounds fucking lovely. That That sounds fun, though. I like what you're thinking that. Not that I could get to in time. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, I think kombu would have been better, personally. Kombucha, but I'd like to try. Well, that's different. Kombu and kombucha are two different things. Kombucha is a fermented, is a fermented like, uh, tea that you have to get a starter for, like a scooby. So kombu is a, is a seaweed. So kombucha is something different. Okay, <laughs> I just added it in there. <laughs> Ask me, here's yours. Boxing Day steak and eggs, anyone? Sauteed potato and garlic with the Chef Steve 330 spice rub. 
Uh, spice rubbed steak and garlic. Black tomato, uh, black pepper tomatoes with a fried egg, uh, with all that loveliness. Oh yeah, that is one of those things with a breakfast sandwich that I've always, I've always believed that the yolk is basically a second sauce. You can put a tiny bit of aioli on a breakfast sandwich, because once it mixed with the egg yolk, it's like perfect sauce amount. That's why I love just over easy eggs. It's wonderful. Looks tasty. How are the tomatoes? Did you just roast them and then dice them? Oh, Super Wolf. Oh, uh, Slumberlust. Look up uh, socials. Exclamation point socials. Tree Philosopher clone I brewed three years ago. A bad boy, two and a half in, in a burn. Ooh, fourth room. No, no, no. Socials. Slumberlust. Click on Linktree, bud. Do that one. Pan fried them. Nice. Just a nice sear. Did you use something like that? That's good. All right. I saw this. I only use Discord. Well, then click on the link tree. That's the link you're going to use. That's the link you're going to use. Because I don't know what Discord link that is. So I'm actually... Uh, we're going to delete that. I don't know how. Why don't I have this? Thank you, Bob. Oh, no, no, Bob. No, 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 no. There was no command. I'm talking about that line of script that he wrote in there. No, 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 Bob. Bob, Bob. Just, just his post. That's all. Yeah, there is no Discord thing. That's why I don't want people clicking on that because that's not that's not a Discord link that I put in, and I don't know where that came from. So Slumberless, click on the link tree if you want to if you want to do that one. Uh, going down, this is Super Wolf's Monte Cristo. Now, Super Wolf is a big lover of Monte Cristos. And I know this. Yeah, Slumberless, I know. I just don't want people posting random Discord stuff because for me, I don't know what that is and I don't click on shit like that and I don't want it posted in my chat. So I am sorry that I, I should have made that very clear that it's socials and that's where the Discord is. But when people do that, it's it's I go, hmm, what's that link? Whose Discord is that? You know what I mean? And and that should be... I'm just saying that too, in case you go to other people's streams. Because, like, I know someone like Teeny Giant, if you did that in there, they'd ban you or, like, time you out for, like, an hour. Because they're just like, why are you posting that? No. You know what I mean? So it's, it's more about etiquette than anything else. So this is a badass-looking Monte Cristo. Look at that. Now, you did a did you do a three tier Super Wolf? How often do you do these out of the kitchen streams? Uh, Charlie, I'm trying to do this once a week so that we do a menu plan day and also look at uh, uh, Discord food. So it's kind of like a nice fun community day to hang out and catch up, talk about what we're gonna do for the week and uh, go from there. What jam is that Super Wolf? Did you do cheese on every tier? So you did ham and turkey. And what bread did you use? That looks like a solid crust, bro. But I'm also going to, Charlie, I'm also trying to think of some other streams that we can do. This is a nice little plate up. Um, raspberry jam? Nice. Nice. Always have to have, I feel like, a nice, sweet, berry-like jam. You know? <laughs> Ew, I know, B. I know. Can you imagine? Can you imagine streamers focusing on their community? What, a, what, what pompous bastards. <laughs> B 
Bob, so rosemary brine chicken. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, whipped russets, whole grain bread, sage stuffing. Ooh, okay. And chicken. Is this what you did for, for your holiday, Bob? Or were you just like, fuck it? I mean, it looks like it, right? That looks awesome. There it is. Thank you, Bob. I don't have everything set up on this. I need to get better. I need to get better at that. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I, now we have it. Christmas dinner. Looks great, man. Apple tart, open face. I find, well, it is quite strong. Aspie, you are not alone. I feel like anybody, anybody that's ever had rosemary, it's strong. It's strong. You gotta be, you gotta be super careful with it. I didn't go through and I was like, damn, okay. But you just have aversion to it kind of in general, right? Sacred, okay, so we had, we had the camembert smasher, but this is what? Venison burger with Kobe Jack, candied, jal candied jalapeno, chipotle meadow on a brioche bun. Those flavors sound good. We got 12 days jam calendar. Ooh, Super Bowl, a little jam calendar? Instead of pancake batter? Yeah, I feel like a lighter, I feel like a lighter batter on a, on a Monte Cristo is better in general, Super Wolf. I like that. I like that. Because if it's too heavy, then it's just like, what are you really tasting? Right? What are you really tasting? You're tasting batter. It's already such a massive thing. I'd love to make cannabis-infused French macaron. B, what? Yeah. Yeah. What would be the best thing to infuse? What should you use? Should you use infused butter? Should you get uh, dissolute, which has basically got almost 100%, so you don't need to use a lot? Passion fruit, big flavors. I like that idea, yeah. Yeah, I don't like white chocolate very much myself, but I feel like in the sense of making a macaron with cannabis. Passion fruit, raspberries, and cho white chocolate would be big enough flavors. And if you did it properly, it might work. That'd be cool. Have you ever roasted white chocolate before? B? There's a way that you can, if you do a slow roast on white chocolate and get maltodextrin, what about uh, a cream? Um, I mean, yeah, you could always infuse something like that, cream. I've never infused, like steeped it like that, but it's more about just the flavor that gets into it. So there's, there's many ways you could do it, but like what's the best way to get a nice dose, but not, not impede with the flavor? Because that's always the biggest issue with, with that, right? Is blonde chocolate as we call it? Okay, okay, cool. I see because a lot. I I didn't know about roasting white chocolate until I went worked at this restaurant. We combined maltodextrin and roasted white chocolate and made a powder. So it was like a roasted white chocolate powder that we just made in house. It was fucking awesome. I would have to make macarons first because I've never made them before. I've never made them before. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. If we had 100 subs, if we had 100 subs in one week, right? We've got we got one sub right now out of 15. We're streaming every day. That, well, we're not streaming Friday because that's New Year's Eve and I'm going to, well, we'll see. I might still stream because, yeah, fuck it. A. Um, B, you send me a recipe and talk me through it. That would be awesome. But regardless, if we had 100 subs, that's how we're going to... Lester Brandon, Long Banana Shake, Fun Machine, Click B, Michelle, all getting those. Dan, you fucking beauty, you. That's huge. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, you get two beans for that. You get whatever this one is.
whatever this one is, that's a uh, birthday cake or dirty dishwater. Dirty dishwater. Dan? Dan, who said that? Hmm? I've never felt who said so that? Naughty. And then we have, this one's the worst, liver and onions or cappuccino? Liver and onions is rough. I'm not gonna lie. That one's rough. Oh. Oh. Dishwater is bad. Oh, but liver and onions. That hurts. That is no good. Oh, what is... Okay, so... Luck. This is from... Uh, was this Christmas dinner with the fam? So we had, we started a salmon souffle and we had a honey glazed ham, leafed potatoes and chili charred Brussels sprouts. Oh, the ham looks gorgeous. Oh, that was terrible. Those look gorgeous. All the cloves studded in the ham. You got the glaze on there. You got that cranberry sauce. Nice. Very, very nice. And this was the this was the souffle. Did you just wrap did you just wrap salmon with it? Or was there like did you make like a salmon mousse and put it in there? Or was it just like a souffle with salmon around? You get a little little cheesy goodness on the top of it. I was trying to steal food while I was snapping pics. Of course. Of course. Look at him. Look at him grabbing. You see this? Yeah, he's right there. He's like, give me those Brussels. Give me those Brussels. What are you taking pictures for? I'm hungry, damn it. Give me the Brussels. <laughs> Dessert 2 recreated uh, Granddad's Fruitcake. How did it turn out? What'd you, how'd you feel about it, Luck? We were talking about this last week. You put the you put the glaze on. And then it looks like, uh, like brittle here. So sticky. So sticky. Where have you been all my life? Fourth room gifted a tier one sub to so sticky. They have given 81 <laughs> gift subs in the channel. There it is. Charlie, click on the uh click on the link there. Did Jess just come in here? I didn't even see. Uh click on there and you'll be able to join the Discord. Uh find it through there. So sticky. So sticky, Dan. Oh, by the way, we're about 45 minutes until 420. So make sure you got shit ready. So delicious. You're like an animal. What? <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Dan, what? Room gifted a tier one sub to Nam. <laughs> have in the channel. Oh, look at that. They were like, nope. Nope. They didn't, they were not going to allow it, fourth room. I'm <laughs> pretty happy with it. I'm glad. I'm glad. It looks good. It looks good. Do you feel like you wanted more of the glaze to like run down the sides? It kind of looks like it maybe pooled in the middle a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. You tell me how you felt about that. Too runny, but got pretty close taste-wise. Got it. Well, there you go. I mean, that's... You tried it. You did it. And now next time... You've learned, right? You write your notes. Maybe you want it a little thicker next time. And, you know, do a little bit more or whatever. But awesome. Fucking... Fucking fourth room. Hilarious. Chicken stew with mushrooms and white beans. Oh, yeah. That's hearty. That's hearty right there. So many hearty soups. I do like, like, white bean soups. Those are good. That was lunch today. Deli pizza with spicy garlic parm drizzle. A simple way to jazz up grocery store pizza. I love jazzing up grocery store pizza. That was like one of my favorite things to do 
as like a starving child, uh, starving child, a starving college student was to, uh, was to mess around with pizza like this. See what you got in your, in your kitchen already. Doll it up with some stuff from the pantry. I gotta like turn this into something a little smaller, I guess. Yeah, it's just taking up too much room. But like, yeah, fucking A. I am all about buying store-bought pizza, like frozen pizza, and doing something up with it. Maybe we do that one of these nights. That'd be kind of fun, right? Just buy some like generic pizzas, frozen pizzas, and, and doctor them up. Try some different things. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Aspie, he's got another one in here. Crunchy onion chicken with lemon butter. Parmesan orzo mixed with peas and bacon. Yeah. Orzo's good. Twas yummy. Alex, I'll bet. But that's one of those things, right? That it's just like... Being able to... Get something a little cheap, a little quick, you know, and do it up how you want to add some stuff. Never a bad thing. I'd always have someone following me with Common Kitchen where I'd start... Me into the Common Kitchen when I'd start cooking. Oh, yeah? When you're studying back in the day? <laughs> That's totally fair. I'm just going to go down the list here really quick. Excellent. What the hell? Rusty did a little porn with a chocolate dip pretzel last week and I couldn't resist posting. What? What is going on with Rusty Rhymes here? <laughs> what is going on? What is this? <laughs> Rusty Rhymes. <laughs> Looking like he took a just straight chug out of some chocolate. And a little brown noser. A little brown noser. I mean, that move, come on. Yeah, we all know that move. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's funny, Aspie. Christmas duck. Burger Mix Mix had posted this. Oh, what did he stuff it with, though? What did he stuff it with, though? Look at that duck. Look at that duck. Does anybody not like duck? I mean, I, I know that there are people that don't like duck, and I know that everybody has their reasons as why, but man. I love duck. Slumberless, really? It's really good. You can cook it like like you would a steak in the sense of, of temperature. So you could cook a duck medium and it'd be beautiful. And it'd be beautiful. Pizza nachos. Pepperino Tostino's green, green, green online. <laughs> uh, marble cheddar and pizza sauce. Oh yeah. I used to do a pizza mac and cheese back in a couple years ago. Too greasy? I don't know why it would have been greasy. Chocolate caramelized peach French toast. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And then loaded banana and peanut butter sauce, chocolate sauce, chocolate chips, caramel sauce, and whipped cream. <laughs> oh, Charlie, if you just joined the Discord, you have to wait 10 minutes before you can post. It's a, it's a, uh, 
little security bit that we have busted in, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't want this. Not because it's bad, but just because... I've just never been a fan of banana splits. And this is like banana split, no ice cream. But you got you got the whipped cream, so it's kind of there. But I just, I never liked them. I like bananas foster. I like that, but like banana splits? Now, if you took all this, threw it into a milkshake, maybe then I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> Wait for me then. Oh, we'll get there. But it's, it's just one of those things, you know? It's, it's, it's a personal preference altogether. But like all the flavors put together in something, yeah. Like, I mean, but just like the banana with all that on there, I'm like, eh, I'd rather just blend it up with some ice cream and have a fucking... And yeah, all my... All, and then it would bring all the boys to the yard. Our caramel banana milkshake brings the boys to the yard. And yeah... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> Ooh, what? Fudge and no baked cookies? My milkshakes brings the, the boys. Fourth room gifted a tier one sub to me. Milkshake brings the boys. They have given me two free gift subs to me. The boys. The boys. No baked cookies and fudge. What? No. No baked cookies. They do. I was gonna. I thought this was fried chicken at first. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, damn, somebody's putting some fried chicken in. I'm like, oh, nope, no baked cookies. No baked cookies. I. I've been thinking about. Maybe we do some streams that are like fit waffles stuff. If you guys don't know who Fit Waffle is, she comes in the stream now and then. She's awesome. Uh, she is a content creator uh, that's massive on basically all of them. She's starting to stream more too, but she does a lot of desserts, no bake, and like just simple three ingredient recipes. That would be really cool. Oh, Moto, you're here. So what did you what did you think about it? How'd you feel? The fudge looks like. Look, it's like it's good fudge. Like, who doesn't like solid fudge like that? I mean, yeah. The cookies, though, I'm curious. Added a couple recent brews. Nice. I want to see them. I want to see them. But those cookies. <whistles> I'm always curious because when it comes to no bake cookies, I feel like they're like on or they're off. They're missing something. Flavor, texture, what? Flank steak with Mexican spice rub with homemade guacamole and my own version of oven baked potatoes quickly mashed together. Oh, these are like the scallop potatoes almost. Hell yeah though. I have to tweak it, that's fair. Loriander, so if you're making something like, there are certain like little desserty kind of stuff that you can make that is just no bake. So you would combine the ingredients and you chill them and uh, that's it. Um, so like no bake cheesecake, you kind of set it with gelatin and you put it in the fridge and you can put a little crust on the bottom or something like that. But uh, it's there, there are a lot of recipes out there like that. We, that's why I was saying we can like do some of them and uh, see what you guys think. Because I know that Fit Waffle has a ton of them and they're all very, very well done. And she's, she kind of like has her shit down on, on fleek. So. Still can't? What? That's weird. Bob, if you're still here, do you think you could check and see if, if why I might be doing that to Charlie? Charlie? Mushroom bok choy and spinach soup? What are, what are the dumplings? What are in the dumplings? Thanks, Bob. I appreciate it. I think I added too much of, of one thing. That's fair. 
How do you measure it out? Do you measure it out with like cups or are you doing scales, Moto? Because I feel like if you can figure out how to get a, uh, if you can figure out how to get like a scale going, you do cups, you might have a, a better thing. Yeah, but are they, are they filled with something? Pork wontons, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Weird. Charlie, I just saw your, your thing there. I don't know what that's about. That's very, very strange. There's a, there's a different bot that did that, that I'm like, what? I don't remember having that bot. Or why we do that. That seems strange, right? Let me check something really quick. Make sure it's not doing something. And maybe it was just something that like Bob could have done real quick. So hopefully it's all good now. Uh, I love pork wontons. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Mama Ra showing off the spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, can we talk about really quick the shark with freaking laser beams on its head on that shirt? Strong shirt. Strong shirt. Also, spaghetti and meatballs. I love them. I love spaghetti and meatballs. They're one of those things that just like make me happy. Do that for now. All right, all right, all right. Bamboo wit. Lovely woodiness, citrus notes, and some bitter notes. Lovely. Look at this. This is one of uh, Fourth Room's brews. Look at that. Look at the head on that. Look at the head on that brew. Dan? Dan? Would you say that's a Thursday pour? Dan, would you say that's a Thursday pour? Or is that a Friday pour? <laughs> That's a hump day. Oh, wow, really? That's a hump day pour? All right, all right. Creamsicle milkshake IPA? Say what? Uh, okay. It should arrive tomorrow? Get it, 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 get it. All right, so. This is creamsicle milkshake IPA. Why is it a creamsicle milkshake IPA, Dan? Dan. Dan. Are you at your are you somewhere where you can go on Discord? Are you somewhere where you can go on Discord? Or are you are you kind of like walking around? Okay. Let's let's bring you into Discord on like a call. Oh yeah. B, if it's not working, please. That's very weird that it's not. Weird. Yeah, cuz it says you're in. So I don't know why Hold on. Try now, B. Give it a try now, because I just added your role as one of the buds. I don't know why it didn't do that before. It, it, that shouldn't have happened. So give it a shot now. Aspie, thank you for coming in. You have a few minutes. Oh my god, okay. All right, fine, okay.
Did it work now, Charlie? That's weird. It, it just, it wasn't adding you as one of the buds yet. I don't know why. So hopefully it did. Things seem loud to you, but sound balance is dreaming. Oh yeah. Fourth room, you ready? Hello. Hello. Can we can you all hear fourth room? Talk again for me really quick. One, two, three, testes, testes. Testes. Right. Yeah, there we go. Should should be able to hear him. Okay. Okay. What's up, dude? How you doing? Living the dream. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah doing all right. Yeah. Living that dream. <laughs> do you have a good, do you have a good you, you, Christmas, all that? Like hanging out with the family? Just, yeah, was, just doing the thing? Yeah, hung out with the girls. They went to their mom's Christmas Eve. So Kelly and I basically had two days of straight drunkenness, which was great. Oh, wonderful. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I can dig that. Okay, so I got, okay, so you got the bamboo wit. Lovely wooden yep. citrus notes. What, what did you do with this bamboo wit? So we added bamboo into the mash with the grains. Um, just did like a typical wheat beer, like a wit beer kind of recipe. Yeah. Um, bamboo mashed it, and that was really it. Added, actually, I dry hopped this one with a little extra citrus, like some citra hops, just because I wanted a little more citrusy. Uh huh. Citra, citrus, citrus flavor added to it, some more aroma, and. Uh, yeah, this is the second time I've done this one, and oh my. Yeah, it just turned out, it was better than the first. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. first one was real woody, kind of planty, not not in a bad way, but um, I wanted to hit it with some more citrus. Huh. It, I mean, I, it look, the color on it looks great, and I mean like... Yeah, it's a beautiful color. You make so much, you made this beer on stream? Yep. yep. Sa the same with the cream sickle, I imagine. Evil Marksman, mm -hmm. how you doing, man? You guys hear him okay now? Dan li likes an acid trip. <laughs> okay, and then the, the creamsicle one. Yeah, so this is like a New England, it's like a New England style IPA, uh, an NE IPA, or like a milkshake IPA. So you add like lactose or milk sugar, because that's not fermentable, so it's going to give it some sweetness. Uh, okay. Um, you use like, I used flaked wheat and some flaked oats in it, um, and then we hit it with... Uh, two three four five six seven eight hop additions some galaxy citra cascade mosaic um wow. and then some vanilla bean as well too so when you say you did the different hops did you do um was that like a, a, a was it equal parts or did you do like okay we're gonna do like five grams of this 20 grams of you know like that kind of thing or what we did like half ounce uh, Cascade when we first started draining out of Bubba, like they call that first wort. Yeah. Uh, W-O-R-T. So we added some there, uh, added some more, added some Citra when the boil started. Okay. Mosaic, about a half an ounce of all of these, and then Cascade at the end of the boil. And then we added about a half ounce of Citra, Cascade, and Galaxy. Um, actually, about an ounce of ga Cascade, Galaxy, um, for, to dry hop it. Wow. That's cool. Damn, so just yeah, like a... this is... We yeah. just kind of winged this one, and, like, the vanilla went in late, and uh, we thought about adding some raspberries or cherries, and I was like, nah, it's good in its own. It doesn't was, need anything else. I was going to say, the tart, the tartness might almost just be, like, too much with everything, all those citrus things that you were talking about with the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. And I use uh, one of my favorite yeasts. There's a Chicago place called Omega Yeast, and they have a tropical IPA that gives it some hints of mango and guava and pineapple too. And wow. that yeast is just, oh, it's so fun to play with. Oh, that's so cool. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is why you need to follow fourth room because like <laughs> what he's doing in, in his kitchen with, with all the beers that he makes, it's magic. Fucking magic. It's fun to experiment. Like that's, I want to push a little bit and yeah, we're going to, we're going to play with some marshmallow syrup next month too. Ooh. Ooh, like, are you doing a s'more? You doing like a s'more uh, stout? A s'mores, s'mores stout. Yeah, we're gonna make some uh, marshmallow syrup on stream too. Oh, it's so exciting! <laughs> I love it. 
Well, and the, the cool part is for Christmas, I got a brand new smoker grill. So we're going to smoke some grains. We're going to put a beer in and we're going to try to make like an athletic beer. Like uh, basically if you cook a beer at 170, 180 degrees, you will boil off the alcohol. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to smoke a beer, like a gallon of it at that temp in the smoker and try to make a smoky athletic beer just to see if I can do it. What? That's crazy, yeah. dude. I love that idea. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. We're gonna be. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna. We're gonna smoke some pineapple for a, our, our grilled pineapple and Ooh. habanero beer again. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna yeah. have some fun. Ooh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, I can't wait to hear how those come out because that sounds. That sounds legit right there. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna try to add in some smoker streams. I'm gonna use my run gear and just wear the harness and just sit outside and smoke stuff and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, dude. I, yeah, I want I want to see that. Like the outdoor smoking streams are one, but when you're doing something even different like that, that's so cool. Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm stoked for this. Like I was so excited that that uh, was the gift. So, Smitten yeah, we're how you doing? A little bit. Well, dude, thanks for coming on. I was like, I want. I was like, we have to have some explanation for this. So, thanks, dude. I know, I'm glad thanks. you had time I'm to go. Do yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go have some uh, ham bone soup and enjoy the rest of this beer because it's it went into the barrel at 11 percent, and it's been in there yeah it's i'm halfway Come through and i'm feeling really friend. good oh so. dude that's oh, awesome yeah. all right man well <laughs> enjoy all of that thank you for coming by holy craigasm all right dude i'll catch you later, later dude. bye all bye. oh man oh what's up capri holy shit holy shit capri how's it going capri look at this look how look how clean it looks uh 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 uh, uh. Guys, if you're not following Capri Sun Poppy, please do so. Please do so. Capri, we're just looking at everybody's food right now. We're looking at people's food, bro. Look at this. Honey Cayenne Biscuit from Slumberlust. Slumberlust? Bro. That looks delicious. Those look so flaky. And the color on them looks so good. I would probably eat majority of those in one sitting and not feel bad about it. I mean, I'd probably feel bad later, but I don't think I'd feel terrible about it. <laughs> hey, Shredder, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Shredder, we're looking at everybody's food. So if you guys are part of the Discord, if you have some food that you made that you were like super stoked on, whether you made it yourself or when you went out somewhere to eat it, Join the Discord. Bob, thank you much. The link for all the socials is in the chat there. Click on that. Join the Discord. Get in there. Post some pictures. If we don't watch, if we don't look at it today, we do this every Monday. So I'm looking at everybody's stuff uh, and we talk about it. So come on in. Uh, this is kind of like an idea stolen from some other streamers because they do selfies. But we're a food stream. Let's look at food. And like food like this, food that we've been seeing all day is great. Uh, by the way, Capri, you get... You get this fucking awful one that's a lose-lose in my book because it's buttered popcorn or... Smoke uh, weed every day. Or rotten eggs. Oh, it's rotten eggs, dude. It's fucking gross. Yeah, so we have about 20 minutes until 4.20. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Oh, that's so terrible. We've got some kinks to work out on the stream. A couple of things need to be worked out, but so far everything goes. Here we are. Charlie, B, you're in this. Dessert is Paris. Oh. Chew and some different types of praline cream and roasted nuts and caramel. That's fucking next level. B, that's fucking next level. Send me this recipe, please. Send me this recipe, please. Holy drool. Holy drool. Look at these guys. This is like, this is what's up. Damn, but you got another picture of them? Look at that. Oh, the overhead shot. So well dusted. So well dusted. <laughs> do you eat those with a fork and a knife i mean you probably could but wouldn't it be more fun to just pick that fucking thing up and take a big bite out of it 
I, yeah, please, please try and translate it. Yeah, get in my belly. Uh, I mean, slumberless. If you wanna, if you wanna eat that with a knife and fork, I don't think it would be inappropriate. But wouldn't it just be so much more fun to just be like, ow, ow, get in there, get in there, and just fucking none it. Oh, I'm hip for that. That's wonderful. I also know like Jess is a big fan of this kind of stuff, like macarons and all that, like just French pastries in general. So like, this is right up her alley. All right, so then we got, hey, if you got more pictures to show off of food, please don't, don't feel like you need to hold back, okay? Okay? Shuck a dozen oysters, reserved oysters in the bottom of the shell with their juices, saute, and do a sausage dice. Okay, so you did like a, a, a sausage mignonette? Is that what this is, Bob? A sausage mignonette? You're naughty. You're a naughty man, Bob. I like... I, okay. I like this because it's like... It's so kind of like country style. You know what I mean? Like you put the red... You could put those red beans on the tray in the freezer. So it's just like fucking cold, right? Like super cold. So when you take those oysters out and put them on there, it's just like, it keeps it nice and fresh flavor. You've made this kind of thing ahead of time and just put them on. And then you've got this like acidic, salty, umami blast in there. I would almost want to cut the andouille sausage smaller, like have everything almost, basically like mignonette style just so it's like i mean the meat makes that a little hard but if you if you like saute it up so it's crispy bob i like this idea a lot i think this is a very funny unique idea that can kind of be like messed with the touch uh but i i applaud it I applaud. <laughs> the last one today, Solar Shutter is just like, fuck it. Pizza, pizza, bitches. Pizza, pizza, bitches. Is that like, is that like a Detroit style pizza from, from Little Caesars? Is that what this is? I mean, I know it's Little Caesars, but is, or is that just like, is that like just uh, pizza sticks? What is that? Man, I ate some Little Caesars back in the day. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. <laughs> when you're a college student and the Little Caesars does like that, it was doing like a $5 deal where you could get like a lot of food for five bucks. And I lived pretty close to it. That was like once a week. I was like, Little Caesars. Little Caesars, deep dish. Okay, I just heard Just Be You sneeze, but did you guys hear Just Be You sneeze? I'm curious. I'm wondering if the mic is pick. Rusky did? Nobody else God did? bless you. Rusky, how you doing? Good to see you, Rusky, bro. I love that this is the last, this is the last one of the day that somebody put in. Ah, this is so funny. I didn't feel like cooking. Solus, I'm right there with you. Some days, I don't feel like cooking either. I don't feel like cooking either sometimes, Solus, and that, nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. I'll t you know, it's... Sometimes, it's just gonna have to be a Little Caesars night. That's all it is. It's their crazy bread. I mean... I fucks with their crazy bread. We had some, uh... We had some uh, pizza last night. It was pretty good. I was pretty happy with it. Kitty, Smitten, did you put these in here? What, Smitten, can you put, really quick, before I click on it, can you put in what these are? Are these onion rolls? Are these Bialis? Are these Bialis? What are these? I have to know. I wanna know before I show everybody. 
Oh, damn! And then Charlie jumps in with some cheese platter because I'm French. Charlie. Charlie. I'm gonna, we're gonna look at that in a second. But let's, really quick, look at that. Just look at that. Like, I want, they look like they could have been bagels. Homemade onion rolls with fresh dehydrated, oh. You, you made this dehydrated onion topper? Oh yeah, that's what's up. You guys see that? Has great pizzas, but a cook that flirts with anyone that moves, so a little conflicted, usually I send rip. That's fair, that's fair. Yeah, if you don't want to deal with that, you shouldn't have to deal with that going to just pick up a pizza. Uh, Spin, those look great. Those look great. I'll bet they were light and fluffy. Spin, you know what you need with this? Just the, that's just that that third heat there, like a video or or take a take a video of yourself like like same same frame here with the with the roll just a little bit closer, and then tear it open while it's still warm so that steam comes out. And if you take a video with that, set it to 4K. 60 frames per second when you do it and I think you'll have the sexiest like picture of your roll Just like with all these in the background and then like the roll opening oh. <laughs> Cuz you know, there's nothing that makes Like I'm salivating looking at this picture in general Like that's just what it is like cuz I know those are gonna be good, but just that steam coming out of that freshly torn roll with everything you know oh, oh man i just that's that's what's